Hey guys, welcome back. If you're ready to see how I did this faux hawk look, stay tuned. So I'm going to start by sewing the first track under the first braid in the front so that it's tucked under. Um, I'm just going to do the flip over method all the way till I get towards the middle. But I'm just going to show you guys how to really sew it and sew under the braid. Okay, so now after I done filled the front end, I'm going to take a whole track and do it going under the braid all the way around so that it's not disconnected and you can't see tracks. If you were to go back and forth going all the way back, it wouldn't look right because you would see the tracks on the side. So this is a good method that I like to do to make the hair blend down into our short hair.
Okay, so now I'm just going to start taking my tracks and going back and forth, sewing them double across from left to right to kind of close the hair back in. And it just makes the hair come together better because it's the faux hawk look. So you want to make sure that the front and the back is both thick. So I'm going to do stitching uh, with tracks that are So right here, I'm going to be folding the hair over to make a circular motion, closing it up to make it perfect and close it up just so it doesn't look all bulky. Um, the middle doesn't really have to be that full. It depends on your client. My client doesn't really want it that full in the center because the front and the back is. So this is just the best way that I like to start closing it up. Okay, so now I'm at the very middle, it's closing it up. Um, I'm just gonna keep on sewing from left to right, left to right, folding it back and forth. And I'm gonna show you guys how I close it up.
Yay, this is the track. Okay, so what I do is I take the last track, flip it over on top of the track that it's closest to. So the last track is going to go towards the track that it's closest to. I'm going to put it on top and start stitching on top of the track. So sewing basically two tracks together to close it up so you don't see any tracks. Just sew the needle through the tracks to close it in really close. okay so i'm all finished you see how close it is and it's very full and i usually just pull it apart so it kind of comes together and it just closes right up you can't even see no tracks it looks very full my client loves it and we're gonna show you guys how we finish all right so this is how it looks with no cut just natural state hair just pulled apart it looks beautiful but my client wants to get her size tapered my phone died so i couldn't get that but this is the finished look i hope you guys love it and like subscribe and comment